Hello guys, welcome back. This is the 12th part of the upcoming series of class 12 practical exam. The first 11 have been already uploaded. So watch them on the channel if you want to achieve full marks in a practical exam because these series prove helpful for your practical exams and also watch our channel for more such exciting videos and videos on topics of physics and also subscribe our channel if you want to achieve full marks. The objective of this video is to find the focal length of a convex lens by plotting graphs between u and v or between 1 by u and 1 by v. u stands for the distance of the object from the lens and v for the distance of the image. For this we will need an optical bench, 3 uprights, a convex lens, a lens holder, 2 needles, a half meter scale and a knitting needle. This image shows the formula used for finding the focal length of a convex lens. We have used a lens formula that is 1 by u, v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f. Here v stands for distance of image, u for distance of object and f for focal length and all of them are respective to the distance from the convex lens. u is always negative and v for the real image is positive and for the virtual image is negative. This image shows the procedure that has been used for performing this practical and the next slide that you are going to see is also about the procedure. So what the next image carefully and this image also you should note it down carefully. This image shows the ray diagram that has been used for performing this practical and you must know that the ray diagram should be very neat and perfectly clean and you should be drawn with a sharp pencil so that your correct placements are happening otherwise you might find some errors. This image shows the calculation that has been performed to find the focal length using the lens formula that is 1 by v minus 1 by u or you can say uv upon u minus v which is equal to 16 centimeter and we are going to derive it by the other two ways also. So watch the next coming images carefully. This image shows the graph between u and v. You should note the graph carefully as you can see an hyperbola is formed as the graph is constructed. So take note down of this image carefully. This image shows the calculations done after plotting the graph between u and v and you can see the focal length is almost as same as the focal length that has been obtained by using the lens formula. There is a very minor difference that it can be neglected. This image shows the graph that is plotted between 1 by v and 1 by u. You can see there is no 
hyperbola as compared to the previous graph there is just a simple straight line so you can see there is a big difference between the two graphs so note down this graph also very carefully This image shows the calculation that has been performed after the plotting the graph of between u 1 by u and 1 by v and you can see the focal length again is somewhat the same it's 15.625 which is almost equal to both of them and so there is not a very major difference it can be neglected so the readings are almost same. This image shows the observations that had been obtained after the practical has been performed. So watch the observations carefully and note them as it might prove very helpful for you. This image shows the result that has been obtained after the practical has been performed. So you, you can notice that the focal lengths have been obtained after the three ways that is by lens formula, UV graph and 1 by U and 1 by V graph. This image shows the precautions that have to be taken while performing this practical. Precautions are very important and they must be kept in mind while performing the practical otherwise source of error might occur. So with this the video gets completed. Thank you very much for watching the video and a new MCQ series for NEED and class 12 board examination which have been included first time the MCQs have been included for CBSC have been started by our channel. So watch them also because they will prove very helpful to you. Thank you. Thank you so much.